The SureSigns VSI monitor offers flexible operation using either battery or AC power. Right now, the AC power is plugged in as indicated by this LED. Whenever the device is connected to AC power, the battery charges. This is the charging LED, and it gives you information about the battery's charging status. Steady green indicates that the battery is fully or almost fully charged. Flashing green indicates a medium charge level. Yellow indicates a need to charge the battery. During normal use or around one measurement every 10 minutes with auto suspend set to five minutes, a new battery should last a minimum of four hours. It is recommended that you keep the SureSigns VSI plugged into AC power whenever possible. It takes about four hours to fully recharge a battery that is completely discharged. Press the on standby key and the VSI powers up. This on-screen icon gives additional information about battery status. It provides a graphical indication of the battery's charge level. When the monitor is on and has not been used for a defined time period, 5, 10, 15, or 30 minutes, it enters auto suspend mode. In this mode, the screen either goes blank or, if configured, displays this large battery icon to provide a quick visual indication of the battery's charge level. Press the on standby key to power up the unit and the screen will become active in approximately 10 seconds. You can enter standby mode manually at any time by briefly pressing the on standby key. The display goes blank, but the VSI does not turn off. Press on standby again to resume use. These keys on the front of the VSI provide quick access to key functions. The alarm silence key silences active alarms pauses audible alarms for a preset time period or disables the audible alarms. Press the NBP key to initiate an NBP measurement. If an NBP measurement is underway, press it again and the measurement stops. This is the main screen key. Press it to exit a menu and to return to the main screen. Any changes made before exiting a screen are saved. Pressing the main screen key when the main screen is displayed toggles between patient records and vital signs display modes. Use the up-down keys to move between menus and the select key to select a setting. Here on the screen, these buttons provide access to menus that control other functions. The new patient button opens the new patient menu. Press the System button to open the System menu. This button activates the Alarm Settings menu, where you can set alarm tone volume. Let's look at the Vital Signs screen. The screen includes a combination of different panes. Each numeric pane contains that Vital Signs measurement and its measurement unit. Use the up-down key to highlight an area on the screen. Highlight one of the measurement panes, such as NBP, and press select to open the menu associated with that measurement. In an open menu, you can change settings by highlighting an item and then pressing the select key. Use the up-down key to change a setting and then press select to accept it. Using these same steps, you can make changes to any of your measured parameters, including system settings such as default patient type. Highlight main screen in the menu or touch the main screen key on the front of the device to close the menu. This area displays text descriptions of any active alarms or error messages. This pane displays the current time. Highlight it and select it to change the monitor's date and time. Note that making changes to the date or time deletes all patient records. 